Hello, I welcome you to a casual tutorial on how to make moving frames. It's gonna be pretty quick. I'll give you the links in the description. If you wanna download that? It's gonna give you this. This is a very important part. Now, uh, most of you already have your stuff ready. You just don't know how to bink it. So this will be the important one. Once you have this, you're ready to go. Pretty much that. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'm just kidding. Okay, seriously, for those of you who stayed, I'll show you how to download stuff. Okay, so first off, that link, you just go download, it will download, and then you just install it. It will give you the bink, the bink to for Unreal, and then download your shortcut, or I don't know, whatever you want to use, but this is the easiest for me. Then, NVIDIA Replay, or GeForce Experience. The instant replay is very important. You need to go to uh, 15 seconds, just to keep the videos consistent, easier to edit. First off, I'll get a clip, just wait 15 seconds. So once you got it saved, just go to your Hogwarts file, then go to Atlas, and you'll see these. I'm gonna be doing the 25 mixed, because it's a 5x5. Five five. You're gonna spend your time a lot on it, not the LQ. You gotta go to the main one. Then you convert, very important, put this to AVI. And then just put one frame to five frame, and then hit convert. It should give you this, the click GIF, and open your shortcut. From here, just drag it in. You're gonna be doing that for every single one of these. I'll show you an easier way for the LQ after I do this one. So this one, you wanna add a video track. And just drag that in there. And then you adjust the size. Click size. And then you click the distort. After that, you go to crop source. You can actually go size position first. The easiest way I did it was I made some files. This will be available for you guys, whichever frames you're doing. This one's a 5x5, five five, so just go to the 5x5. Five five. Just add video track, and then put it on the bottom. Delete that old one, put it there, and then just put it into shape. So after you're done adjusting the scale, you go to the crop source, put it at 355. Five. Then you put it to scale, so 355. Five. If you can't get it, just type it in, and then put it to scale. And if you put this to zero, you'll see the top there. What you want to do is put it to 355 and then add another 355. 710. So put that to 710. Scale this to size. And then once you got that looking good, put that back to 355. And then that's going to be your scale. Go back to size and position. If you want to adjust the borders, you see the bl little blue there. Just put it a little bit to the side. And then just copy paste. This is the copy button for filters. Add another clip to it. Let's say this one. 15 seconds so you don't have to edit the end. And it loops back perfectly. Just mute it. And then this is the paste button. What that will do is put it on the same spot, same size, same everything. So you just drag it next to it or whichever. For every one of these, you're going to have to do the size. So it was 710, right? So if it's scaled good there, you're good to go. Just put it back to 3 5 you gotta do the 255 because if you don't do it, your image is gonna look like this. It's gonna look like that in game. You don't want that. This is actually a good example that it's not centered, so you're just gonna do 710, adjust it to scale, and then go back to 355. That's gonna be your photo. Now, once you're done, you go to export, export tab. Advance. Put this to AVI again. Make sure you disable the audio. Let's go export. Now that will load. You'll see the percentage there. Just wait a while. Once it's exported, it's pretty simple now. You just go to your, uh, where you save that. It's gonna be here. It's gonna look like that. You can delete the background too. You gotta add the new track every time you put an image in. Next up is to open your Bink tool for Unreal. What you want to do is go to your, wherever you saved it. And then, pretty simple, just Bink it. What you'll see here is it Binks it to BK2. See that? Pretty much it. Just Bink. Wait for it to load and stuff. Takes a while. Okay, once it's done, just click Done. Then you'll have your Bink file. To make the low quality, you just gotta export the low quality one. So you export this one with the bank convert file AVI. That's important. AVI one to five convert done. And then this low quality close this. I'll close it. Every time you you start a new one, you gotta close it. You just drag the low quality in there. Add a new track. And then just drag it. Drag the AVI in. And then that's it. You just export it again. 
audio disabled, export. Oh yeah, you gotta do the AVI, that's important. Just to keep everything the same. So this is gonna be your, your main one, which is a higher res. This one is your lower quality one. And then after that, just convert the AVI to the big A2 like you did with the first one. And you're pretty much done. Thanks for watching.